Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool looking through the eye effect. And this was done by using the draw mask feature. And I just simply drew a mask around the eye. Which for all practical purposes pokes a hole through that layer and lets you see behind it. So I dropped the waves in the ocean behind it, and that's what you saw. And then I used a series of opacity and scaling and position tricks to uh, make the whole thing work. And this is how we did it. We're going to start with the eye on track two. Always make sure you do whatever you're going to do a mask on, put it on track two so you can poke a hole through it and see what's behind it. So if you double click on it, you can see all of our keyframing with the, these little diamonds. You can also match that up up here to these little diamonds. Let's move over to mask and there you can see what I did is I used the draw mask tool and I drew a mask around her eye. I probably could have used the circle but I wanted to use the draw mask a little more precision. I, ad I adjusted the extend a little bit just to um, get it where I wanted it. And I did turn on invert mask here. So we're going to go through all the keyframes uh, one by one so you can see what's going on. So the extend is set to a negative. When it gets over here, I change the mask and to the extend of the mask. And when it got here, I brought the mask almost to, to uh, back to negative, or almost back to zero, the extend portion of it. Okay, and that's all we did on this. That's all we did. We keyframed a mask there. Now let's go back to basic. And here you can quickly see what I did. I keyframed the scale. And I brought the scale all the way up as far as you can bring it. 2000%. Because I wanted that eye to just vanish. Well, what is that keyframe? Well, that keyframe is I had to move the position a little bit because when you scale up, the eye was going off the screen. So I just changed the position slightly. And if you scroll down through, you can see there are no other keyframes done. And the final one is the 2000%. Okay. Let's look at the waves. Now you'll, you'll notice I have some keyframes going on down here too. That's the kind of the secret to the whole effect. You're just keyframing everything. So what are we keyframing down here? Compositing. It's the opacity. Okay, you might have figured that one out already because uh, you can see nothing and then it see it just sort of ease in. And then I brought it up. 100% and left it at 100 right there. I split the track, although I didn't have to, but I split the track right where I wanted the image of the girl to bleed through. I'll show you what I did here in a second, but let's go up and look at the girl first. So let's jump to the last keyframe. And again, it was opacity that I used. Go back to the first keyframe. Opacity is keyframed. You can always tell that from the diamond if it's colored or not. And you can watch the line right here go up all the way up to 100%. So I, I pulled her right in. Well, almost to 100% anyway. All right, so what did I do down here? I got more keyframes. Down here... I did not use opacity. I used the scale effect again because I wanted it to appear that this ocean scene back here was slightly moving forward. I didn't want it to just sit still. I don't like anything sitting still in my effects. So see how it moves? So it kind of makes it seem like we're moving forward through the eye and we continue to move forward a little bit. Then obviously I put some music underneath of it. I put a LUT up on top of it to just give it that... Um, colorization that that color that I was looking for 
And that's it. That's the whole thing. It's not that difficult to make these type of effects if you really can get down and understand masking and keyframing. And the best way to do that is to go through what I just explained to you step by step. Every time you mess it up, just stop, rewind, and do it again uh, because you will get it. And once you get it, then do some of your own stuff. Just practice, practice, practice. And then uh, you'll find that it's not that hard. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that little tutorial um, of looking right through somebody's eye. I think it's kind of a cool effect. You can put this into uh, any number of your videos or even if a movie scene that would make an excellent shot in a movie scene. And we'll see you real soon. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments, and we'll see you on the next video.